We will highlight key processes in managing the life cycle of an enterprise service. The demonstration shows a critical email exchange service and its interactions with self service, support and incident, collaboration, collaboration and change, software asset management, automation, project management, cloud deployment and governance, and employee engagement. Let's take a look now at how configuration and change management. I can create a new change from this particular incident. And within the change creation, I will select to create a new exchange certificate model and automation for this kind of change. My new change already has information that classifies it and assigns it. We can see that our change will undergo a standard workflow. I'll also have assistance in scheduling the change and find an appropriate change window based on the amount of time to implement. I can now proceed to plan and execute my change. And this can include the creation of specific workflow tasks. Some can be manual, some can be automated. We can see that under execution, there is already an automation subflow that will generate and replace my certificate automatically. But first, I can note also that my change record gives me all the details of the involved CIs that will be affected by the implementation. I can look at the impact to understand exactly when I bring this server down, what other services in addition to Exchange might be affected. My broader change calendar can show me all of the planned changes for the Exchange service, as well as the details on each of those changes. For broader information, I can even do a global search for anything related to Exchange and find that I have changes planned, I have articles from knowledge management, I have incidents that are open, support requests that have come in from self service portal. Let's drill into one of these existing changes. This is an upgrade that was done to one of the Exchange servers and change analytics actually give me information about the success or failure as well as the risk associated with this kind of change. I can see the list of failed similar changes as well as any successful ones if those were available. Another very valuable tool is this report of change analytics where I can look at success rates, the amount of standardization as well as the automation that has been taking place. That I can improve my success rate overall by making a focus improvement in changes related to the exchange service. That right now, I have a 79% success rate in performing changes to this service. You can also see that I've only been automating about 50% of them, yet I can have a higher success rate if I implement further automation. 